Hello there, Scorpio. How are you doing, guys? So for today, uh, we have the Knight of Water, the Emperor. Pay attention to the red flags, religious factors. Demonstrate love and look to your inner strength. So I feel like you're um, dealing with um, with a water sign here as well, or a Pisces uh, person. They could also have Aries in your chart. I'm seeing that this person is balanced emotionally and um, mentally. They're kind of a mature individual and they have this loyalty uh, in this relationship. They're loyal to you. Um, they do recognize that there's some kind of a red flag in this relationship, um, which could be about religious upbringing or a spiritual path um, for each of your individual journey however despite that they're demonstrating how much they love you each day and they will continue to act as the bigger person here and look at their inner strength to deal with situation like this so i will just um, shuffle the cards here for you, Scorpio, uh, to get the flow of energy, see what more can we find. So just give me a minute here. Thank you very much for that, Scorpio. So the current energy that we have is the tower. The highest that can be attained is the Knight of Wands. Uh, what's underneath is the Seven of... Seven of um, Swords in the past is the Ten of Wands and the probable outcome here is the Ten of Swords. So the Tower moment talks about a Leo energy. So this is a fire sign. There's definitely some ending that happened wherein It kind of um, get rid of the old that's no longer serving your purpose. Could be moving to a new place, a new job, a new sense of being. You could have found how you could have uh, you understood your potential as a Leo person. Okay. So once again, we have a Leo energy here for the highest that can be attained with a Libra energy. This is also a fire sign or an air sign. So being um, focused and determined as well as um, taking care of, of something here. So this, um, this Libra person, they may have thought that this is just for fun. At the same time, they, they were uh, treated um, not so good in the past and they're no longer going to allow that to happen. So there was some kind of being straightforward in the um, immediate future. And then we have the judgment card here uh, with the seven of pentacles. There's a resurgence of um not good feeling here it's a uh, negative energy about deception well wearing some false mask and the universe is trying to reveal this to you with the tower moment uh, with the tower moment or with the judgment card okay So in the past, we have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So you could have been, um, you could have fire sign or your person or um, an earth sign, um, uh, Virgo energy here. You've been focused on your, your work and productivity with your pentacle and yourself. Um, and very self-reliant, independent woman. And there's some kind of an ending that happened here. Um, 
And then finally, there there this this um, ten of swords with the sun. So that there was a tower moment that happened, Scorpio, and that brought you um, happiness, true happiness in the sense of uh, material sense of joy and optimism here. So it's totally done. Your karmic cycle, residue debris, whatever karmic patterns um, that has been happening in the past, relationship, job, is has it will end. It will soon end. And that's the outcome that is beautiful. Um, Scorpio, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.